do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter human health and diseases in that we are studying topic topic immunity immunity if i say immunity is the resistance of your body to fight infection let's study a little bit more about it whenever a foreign particle or a foreign microorganism enters into your body your body will fight against that harmful organism by producing different fighting machinery and this ability of your body to fight the foreign infectious substances or microorganism is the immunity or the ability of the body to fight now every one of us has got immunity which could be by birth or after taking medicines or injections or natural adapted any one of those now immunity if i say in simple line it means the ability of your body to recognize and then neutralize or destroy the harmful substance or pathogen that is invading your body for any organism if an organism invades your body the harmful substance that is going to do harm to your body would be called as the antigen or harmful substance of that particular organism and whenever your body forms a fighter cell or a fighting ma machinery against those organisms then that substance is called as antibody so antigen is a part of microorganism whereas antibody is a part of your immune system whenever antibody and antigen complexes form later on different chemical cascade reactions occur in your body which bring down ultimately the death of that particular organism if your diet is not proper or you have got certain diseases or conditions like hiv or arthritis your immunity levels could be little shaken or little low If I talk about immunity, I can say that immunity is the overall defense system of your body, and the immunity levels of every individual are different. The simple definition of immunity is: it refers to general ability of a body to recognize, neutralize, destroy, and eliminate foreign substances or resist a particular infection. now every individual can have different levels of immunity or fighting ability in the body for example a child who is just newly born his immunity levels are going to be very very low whereas an adult who is in his mid 20s or mid 25s will have a high immunity level and this immunity level which is high would be due to that diet of an individual his acquaintance with the surrounding and the exposure that he has gone through various pathogens or various atmospheric substances where a child is still to go through this and a diseased individual will have immunity levels at a very low
whenever any foreign substance is invading body human body and is capable of stimulating an immune response it is termed as antigen now what is antigen for example you get an e coli infection a food infection due to e coli whenever a e coli will enter into your body through food infections or an infected food particle or morsel whatever it is that e coli will have certain characteristics or certain chemical or certain part which can be dangerous to you which can cause you the infection and that substance or that part is termed as antigen the harmful part the part that actually makes you sick or ill now to this antigen that is present in that causative agent or that organism the protective chemical that is produced by our immune cells in response to this antigen is termed as antibodies so antigen an antibody complex is formed inside our body in simple language if i have to put this we can say then if an organism gains entry into a body it has its pathogenicity causing organism which is antigen and when this antigen is gain entry in our body our immune cells or fighter cells of our body form a substance which is termed as antibody once antibodies are formed there is an antigen and antibody reaction that happens your antibody will catch hold of the antigen try to kill the organism and its antigenicity and once it's done the antibodies which were directed against the antigen their work is almost completed now antigens are also termed as antigen presenting cells or acp students in this part of the chapter what we came across was what is actually immunity and how each one of us have different amount or you can say different variations in immunity for example your immunity levels and your your grandfather's immunity level and a child's immunity levels are never going to be same it always depends on your age on your diet and the way your lifestyle is if you are prone to diseases obviously your immunity would be at very low level all the time and if you are somebody who is very healthy your immunity levels are going to be high it's the antigen and the antibody reaction that actually initiates immunity in any individual students i hope that you are very clear about this concept of what immunity is thank you